all right what's up guys um today i'm going to be showing you a glitch to use the mr6 in game so basically i've been seeing a bunch of videos like this but they're for console and not pc so today i'm going to be showing you how to do it on pc um the first thing you want to do is you want to go to steam and then go to settings and then go to cloud and then disable this setting right here, enable Steam Cloud Synchronization. And then you're gonna wanna go to your settings and then you're gonna wanna go to Program Files 86, Steam, User Data, and then into this folder and then you're gonna find a folder that's 311210. And you're gonna wanna delete the file that's in there. And basically that's just gonna stop Steam from updating your profile whenever you start up your game when you go online. So once you do that, go to your windows right here, turn off your Wi-Fi, and then go ahead and launch the game. Just give it a second. It takes a while to boot up because it keeps trying to go for the sync to the cloud. But since we turned it off, it won't do that. So uh, yeah, once the game launches, we'll jump to that. All right, so now that we're on the start screen, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and then you're going to want to hit your Windows key. You're going to turn on your Wi-Fi. And then basically you're just going to spam play online until it says connecting. And then once it does that, once it says connecting to online services, back out and hit the menu button. And then just wait a second. And then once you see your screen flash like that and it says press enter to start, press enter on your keyboard. And then you'll be glitched out like this. Now, I was having issues myself with this, so I recommend using your arrow keys and pressing enter on the settings. And then once you get to this part where you have to put a controller in, make sure you're clicking on this right side of it right here or else you're gonna accidentally click on the emblems button right there. So just go ahead and activate split screen. And then grab your second controller, or your controller for this matter. Go ahead and hit weapon kits, and then secondaries, and then hover your mouse over it and make sure it's like that, like it's hovered over Bowie knife. Hit enter, and then you'll go on this screen, and then use your controller and press B until you see the background over here is at weapon kits, and then go back into it, and then go back, and then select the Bowie knife. It'll look like this, it'll be a little annoying, but I've found this to be the easiest. So once you're in this and you see the paint job and the camo at the bottom for the second player, you can see you can still move this around and still move this. So once you do that, you go to your MR6 and then you create a variant. You won't have one here. This is just because I was on here earlier and I did this. But it, even if you screw up the glitch and you wanna remove your attachments, you just go in here and then you can just change your attachments, whatever. Um, I don't recommend using fast mags as it doesn't work. The only things that I know work is quick draw, laser sight, long barrel, and I think that's it. So do that, add whatever camos you want, you can add whatever. If you have DLC weapons like the 1911, you can, you can add those as well. Um, if it does this, just press B. Because you'll accidentally pull up the camo button on accident. It's really weird. But say you have like AK-74U, you can add attachments to that. But I don't have it. So if you have it in multiplayer, you can sometimes do it. Some guns don't work, so don't 100% count on it. I also found that if you do this for guns that you haven't unlocked, say you just prestiged, you can put your attachments on your weapons even if you don't have them unlocked. So let's do a random gun for an example, the M8A7. I can create a new variant, name it whatever, and then you can add all the attachments to it that you don't have unlocked. And then in a bit you'll see, can't do extended mags. Um, be careful with this too, if you have attachments like this, use the arrow keys, because if you click this, 
It'll go back into the camo screen once you're out of this screen. It'll be bugged out. So it'll do that. So just be sure to use the arrow keys when you're on this screen. Um, but yeah, we can you can add attachments to guns that you don't have unlocked yet. And just make sure it's saved and you see the, the variant here because that's how it goes in the game as. So if you don't save it, it won't go into your game when you load in. Just for the sake of proving my case, I'm going to change my camo on here from purple to say red. Go to red. I'll save it. And then... Once you back out all the way on keyboard, do the same for controller, and then you'll be back to normal. And then deactivate split screen, and we'll just go, go into a game of the giant. And then, go ahead and see our MR6 customized, and I'll even pull out some of the guns from the box and show you that you can put attachments on guns that you don't have unlocked. So, do that real quick, and we'll wrap up the video. Alright, now we're in game and you can see that my MR6 is now customized. You can even add optics on it, but personally I just like the way the MR6 iron sights look and the uh, the optics on it just look kind of weird to me, so I just keep it plain. So if you did want to add an ELO sight or a reflex, you can, but that's completely up to you. Um, I'm not sure how effective the long barrel actually is, but I know it's one of the two that works. Um, and I just think the laser side looks clunky on the MR6, so... So yeah, this is this is completely working on PC for the people that are having troubles with it. This is what's worked for me. If you have any troubles, be sure to drop a comment and let me know. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll go to the box and uh, try to get some of those guns that we uh, put attachments on. Alright, so I spent all the last game trying to hit the box, and I'm an idiot, and I realized I made the M8A7 gun that I customized so uh, yeah I just wasted a bunch of my own time there so uh, yeah I'm gonna get that and then we'll be on our way all right as you can see I do not have this gun unlocked as I am a level 5 and you do not unlock the M8A7 a level 5 you still got all your attachments all your camos you can do it for all the guns in the game if you want to before you prestige what I don't know, however, is if it will save after you prestige again. That I'm not sure about. So if you guys want to give that a shot, let me know. I will be sure to let everyone else know. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on Twitch. I stream basically every day. I stream zombies with my homies, you know. This isn't my normal type videos, I usually do funny moments, so if you like funny moments in zombies, be sure to do a sub for that. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and yeah guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.